Good morning, Ravens, and welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. On today's show, we have a preview of Senior Signing Day and a talented young drummer. We also have a story of an aspiring gymnast here at Northwest. For Samantha McHugh, I'm Kami Gibson. Let's get started. The senior signing ceremony is just around the corner. Let's take it to Rachel for details on the event. Lake Northwest has achieved high academic excellence year after year. To continue this tradition of recognition, ONW holds a yearly signing ceremony to honor seniors' hard work. On April 22nd, we will have an all-school assembly where uh, every senior who has earned scholarship dollars from the school they are going to attend is recognized. So we want our student body, 9th through 12th, to see what's out there for them, to see what hard work will do for them, how it will pay off for them. As seniors, the earlier the better. We need them to report their scholarships. It helps us plan the assembly. Um, the earlier they can report everything that they have been offered, the better it is for all of us. To report your scholarships, go to onwravens.net and click on Senior Signing Ceremony to get the link to the Google Doc. Fill in your information, then press Submit. April 17th at 3.30 p.m. is the deadline to submit all scholarships. For any questions, contact your counselor or Mr. Butler in Student Services. For ONW Now, this has been Rachel Burkhart. Now back to the desk. Olathe Northwest is full of musically inclined students, but a talented drummer stands out. Jacob Downing brings us the full story. Ten years ago, Graham Petter received a two-foot-tall plastic drum kit. Now, what was once nothing more than a hobby serves as an outlet through which Petter expresses his passion for music. I kind of lost it there. I grew out of that set, and then one day I just kind of decided to pick it back up again. Petter's influences and tastes have evolved to include a broad variety of artists and genres, many of which Petter has discovered through his older brother Grayson, also a musician. I'm inspired by quite a few people. John Bonham of Led Zeppelin, Bill Selway also, um, the radio a drummer, actually Meg White of the White Stripes. My brother definitely, a lot of the songs that I end up liking, I just hear in his car or something or playing in his room. Although now primarily self-taught, Petter does not shy away from working on fundamental skills. I like to practice hand strength and speed a lot, and that really can improve anything on the drums. While Petter continues to improve as a musician, he wishes to pursue a career elsewhere, thus fearing he may lose interest in playing. Of course music will always be an influence to me, but I may someday just think that I'm not gonna drum anymore. Petter does not let this fear impede his success, however however, as he is continually reminded of the virtue of playing an instrument. Music in general has a very big influence on my life. It kind of lets me be creative, with drumming especially, and just think better. It's, it's a feeling that nothing else can give you, really. Sports that take place outside of school can be a huge time commitment. Cammie and Isabel share with us, us the story of a dedicated gymnast. Some people are still searching for something they are passionate about, while others develop their passion at a young age. Nick Askew, junior at ONW, found his at the age of three. He has been taking gymnastics and developing higher level skills for 14 years. Um, I mean, just the physical sport itself. I mean, I like working out. I like, and then I see my friends every day there, and comp uh, competing is really fun too. I mean, I just like to see how I'm doing compared to everybody else. Nick spends 18 hours a week at Emerald City Gymnastics and competes on level 10. Um, it's taught me great time management. Time management big time and then commitment because you got to be really committed to do this. If you're not committed you're not going to get high enough and to do college or Olympics even. Nick competes in six events. Pommels, floor, rings, vault, b-bars and high bar. He has high hopes for his future in gymnastics. I'm hoping to compete with the college team. I mean, either Nebraska, Iowa, or Air Force even. Um, but mainly for pommels and rings. As a 
competitive gymnast, Nick travels a lot. Last year, he traveled to California for nationals and made it to finals for rings and ball. For RNW Now, this has been Isabel Lobby. Now back to the desk. That's all we have on this week's edition of ONW Now. For Cami Gibson, I'm Samantha McHugh. Have a great day, Northwest.